It's hard to place her voice for that kind of remark. It's the same she does. I'm sorry. It's all right. Didn't expect you here anyway. Well, there was a message for you. For me? Yes. Sir Michael Harvey's secretary rang up. They want to see you both at the foreign office this afternoon, 4.30. Sir Michael who? Harvey. Deputy Under Secretary is the one with the homework. Well, why didn't he tell me himself? It's just not the way things are done, old boy. I still say he could have waited till after the day. Well, hunters come and go, old boy, but uh, we go on forever. Someone's got to take his place. Yeah, if that's what it's all about. What else could it be? Help yourselves. Thank you. That's just one more reason, isn't it? For not getting married. Did you see her? Did you get a look at her face? It means Mrs. Hunter. Smart, wasn't she? And I bet he had a nice house, too. Did you see his boy? And how old was Hunter then? What, 50? Well, it's par for the course, old boy. Par for the course? You know, sometimes, Toby, your stupid platitudes really make me sick. Par for the course. I mean, it could have been either of us. Do you realise that? Either of us. Well, it wasn't, was it? I mean, I, I didn't even know his real name till this morning. Oh. Isn't this lovely? Where did you get it? It's beautiful. Well, um, I'll make them. Well, some of them. You'll never think he had it in him. Look, shut you? up, will you? Well, I'm sorry, old boy, but I really don't see the point in getting more. I am sick of it, mate. I'm sick of it. I mean, week after week, month after month, year after year, living the way we live. Well, I'd, I'd better go. I, I said I'd only be an hour. I'll see you later. Yeah, love, yeah. What is all the fuss about? You thought he was an idiot anyway. All right, so he was unorthodox. Doesn't make him an idiot, does it? Doesn't give anybody the right to make his wife a widow, either. Look, Hunter got shot, service scored of others in the past year or so. We didn't write. You knew what it was like. You knew that the first time you went out on a job. And let's face it, you've widowed a few wives yourself since then. Yeah. Yes. So, what's so special about this? You're coming. Later. Come on, I'll buy a drink. I said later, Toby. I said later. 
Half past four, isn't it? Four thirty, Foreign Office. Mr. Callan and Mr. Mears, sir. Good afternoon, gentlemen. We haven't met, have we? My name's Harvey. Good afternoon, sir. Mears, sir. Mears. Afternoon, sir. Uh, Callan. Callan. Do sit down. Uh, I don't, sir. Thank you. No, thank you, sir. We've got ourselves into a spot of bother over this unfortunate business. He was a good man, Hunter. I knew him fairly well at one time. Quite a good painter, you know. No, sir. I didn't. He did a portrait of one of my children five or six years ago. It was quite a good likeness. Pity he had to be left alone, wasn't it? He wasn't left alone, sir. No, not strictly, of course, but I mean that other chap, or what was his name? Not very experienced, I believe. But don't you agree? We have had the inquiry, sir. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Please don't misunderstand me. It's simply that, naturally enough, the minister is rather disturbed by the whole thing. Oh, is he really, sir? Well, we quite enjoyed it. The Foreign Secretary is anxious to find you a new hunter as soon as possible. Now, there is no apparent heir. As you well know, he doesn't like being rushed into decisions. Uh, yes, sir. We do know that. I was promised a petrol allowance some two years ago. It still hasn't happened. <laughs> Too bad, sir. Uh, bring in the hunter J.R. Fire, will you, and the movement order. What we're doing, gentlemen, is to make a temporary appointment. It may turn out to be the right choice, in which case, of course, the chap will stay on. We'll just have to see. Incidentally, Callan, he's a chap I think you probably know. Oh, yes, sir. I gather you trained together. Ramsay. John Ramsay? That's the man. I thought he was in East Germany. He is at the moment. We want the two of you to go over and bring him back. Behind the curtain, sir? No, no, not quite. Just collect him at the frontier and stay with him. Fairly routine. Gentlemen. Not quite clear, sir. Clear? Why well, you want us to go over? But then, of course, perhaps you're not familiar with our work. But you surely must know that every move we make is noted. If we go into Europe, we're asking for trouble. The official view is that provided we play this very carefully, no one will really know what is going on. Which is why we want you two particularly to carry out this operation. Also, he may need some protection on the journey and help cross the frontier. Well, why can't he come out through the normal channels? Well, I haven't said that he can't, Callum. But of course, you're quite right. It isn't possible at the present moment. Rams has been running the East German section from Leipzig under the cover of a small business. He has East German papers only. There just isn't time to get the exit visas and so on to him. And he obviously can't make the necessary applications himself. Why not, sir? He'd have to have a better reason than dead grandmother if they were going to let him out. I'm afraid he'd rather overplayed that one lately. No, he can only come out illegally. Thank you, sir. That's all we wanted to know. I hope you don't think we're sending you on a mission like this, just for the sake of it. Now, shall we have a look at this? Oh. Ramsey makes regular trips by train from Leipzig to Pilsen. Uh, just here, a few uh, kilometres from Hof. The train runs within half a mile of the frontier through a pine forest. Apparently just here there's a clearing with a track running through it. The only thing between that and freedom is a piece of scrubland about a hundred yards across. No wires, sir? No wires, Mears. Just a minefield. Yes? No, I'm afraid they're not here at the moment. They're at the Foreign Office. Yes. No, I'm afraid I have no idea. Yes, I'll tell them as soon as they come in. Goodbye. Miss March? 
Good yes. afternoon. You went in your office. I'm looking for Mr. Mears and Mr. Callum. Well, I'm afraid they're not here. Is there anything I can do? Jenkins, War Office. I'm here to talk to them about some minefield. Are you sure they're expecting you? Well, I just hope so. Well, I'm afraid I'm not expecting them back this afternoon. Oh. They have gone to the Foreign Office. I'll wait if you don't mind. They'll be back. There are regular patrols once an hour. But they're obvious and motorised. They shouldn't be any trouble. Ah, just here is a disused bunker. Ramsay will hide out there. Well, there shouldn't be any problems. As long as he doesn't uh, blow himself up, sir. Jenkins will explain all that to you. War office. If you mark out the field properly, he should be all right. I'm sorry if the route sounds complicated, gentlemen, but again, You well, haven't told us when we go, sir. Ah, a car with all you need will be collecting you from your office tonight. Nine o'clock. Just get all you can out of Jenkins. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you, sir. Anything else today? If not, I'm going home. This is Captain Jenkins, Mr. Mears. Jenkins, good. Glad you got here. Oh, and the travel office wants you to train them as soon as possible. Get on to them, will you? It's uh, all detailed there. Now then, Jenkins, what's all this? I thought there were two of you. Mr. Callan will be along presently. He's just popped off home to see his dear old mother. She gets so uh, distressed if he has to disappear suddenly. Yes, of course. Shall we wait? No. Let's make a start, shall we? We can always go over it again. Yes, well, um, it's all pretty straightforward. Conventional mines, old stuff mostly. Half of them probably gone sour by now. Sour? Harmless. Happens to know if you don't look after them. Does it? Now, this is a fairly accurate chart taken from stolen information. Fairly accurate. There might be a marginal deviation, nothing to worry about. If you worked to the landmarks, you could work a path across quite safely in, uh, I'd say, two hours at the most. Mm. Callan, Captain Jenkins, our minefield expert. Ah, that's it, is it? Well, apparently there's nothing to it, old boy. We just uh, stroll across, making alliances here and there for a marginal deviation. But there's nothing to worry about. They're all harmless anyway. That's not quite what I said. <laughs> Travel arrangements? It's all laid on. We shall have a nice, cosy ride. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah. Well, look, well, you've got a smaller map. We can't lug this one around, can we? Yes, of course. Well, that's it then. Thanks. But I haven't actually taken you through the details. Yeah, oh, no, don't worry about that, mate. What are they? Uh, acoustic, mainly? Most of them, yes. The Russian Novo 4s. Ah, well, we know all about those, don't we? All right, well, what about this chart, then? Well, the simplest way across is, uh, excuse me, is diagonally from here. Now, uh, take these two trees. Yeah, you got a pencil? Sure. Not the third, the fourth. The only real problem is here, where you need a 10-degree shift to the right for five yards, and again here, it corrects itself. Otherwise, it's all pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. If you mark your path with the discs we supply, you'll find it easier. They're luminous. Oh, good. Yeah, that's nice. Look, why, what, what about this forest here? I mean, why not there? There's plenty of cover. We don't have it charted. You don't what? There's no map. There's known to be a bog somewhere in the middle. What's this? Oh, a hunting lookout. They used to hunt deer. Yeah, what, what's the ground like? I mean, is it even? What? Oh, even, I should think. You should think. You should think. Listen, mate. I want to know. Remember me? I'm the boy who's going to cross the bloody thing. I was going on to say, Mr. Kellen, that I don't think you need to worry. It's a totally unmanned stretch of frontier now. It has been for six months. Your only problem, apart from the mines, is the patrol. You've got information on that, I imagine? Oh, yes. Yes, we have. In the fire. One every hour. Which is precisely why this stretch was chosen. It really is the safest, easiest area. Yeah, yeah. Well, how long is it going to take me to cross it? A couple of hours. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I mean, that really is great. There's a patrol every hour. It's going to take me two hours to cross it. There's plenty of cover, Mr. Cullen. It's scrubland. Just lie low. You'll be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we're the ones who are going to find that out, aren't we? All right. Listen, you, uh, you leave this with us and go and get yourself a cup of tea. If you think this map is in any way inadequate... Listen, we can both read maps, mate, right? Thank you.
quite the little gentleman, aren't we? Bloody Ramsay. Hunter, old boy. Hunter from now on. Do you want a drink? No. Well, seeing as we are going on our holes, we might just as well enjoy ourselves. Yeah, love scotch. This new bloke is anything like the last. It's goodbye perks, anyway. Oh, I don't know. He's all right. How well do you know him? Oh, Ramsay. John Public School Ramsay. How well do you think I bloody well got to know him? I'll tell you one thing, then. What Harvey said about uh, him and me training together, <laughs> what he really meant was that John Public School Ramsay followed me around for about six months so he could get some, some knowledge of the field, you know. Not, of course, that he really needed it. I mean, he knew that one day he was going to get the plum job anyway. I thought it might be rather fun. And was it? Oh, belt up. Oh, you're a pain. Listen, what do you want about now, then? I want about bloody you. Right, mate, you know what you can do, then, don't you? Your uh, car has um, arrived. Yeah, thank you, love. Thank you. Solo, solo, aren't I? Where? Italian front here. Oh, sorry. Quite a grand tour, isn't it? Ooh. Grazie. Yeah, we'll it would be stupid to do it any other way, wouldn't it? It's, uh, <laughs> ten hours from Paris, another ten to Salzburg. It's a right old game, isn't it? Oh. Cheers. I bet old Ramsay set all this up. You know, one of the things we used to do when we were together, you know, we used to go across the minefield on a combat course at Catterick. That and the shooting, he didn't need any help there. He was a natural. We're all the same in the top drawer, old boy. It's the grass. I bet he even chose the spot, too. Thought it might be rather fun, especially when you were. I would say it sounds an absolute hoot. Yes? Hunter's secretary's been on the phone, sir. She's had an urgent coded message from Munich. And? Apparently, Hunter will be on the frontier point 24 hours early, sir. What? According to the message. Oh, blast the man. Unavoidable, sir. Yes, I'm sure it was. I don't think much of yours, Elsa. Hey, come on, I want to go. What, now? Yeah. Oh, look, it's only 12 kilometres. We could, we could walk there and back a dozen times before it's due, besides which it's pitch dark. You wouldn't see anything. I know. I want to get started. I thought we might have a night on the town. Listen, don't you ever think of anything else? Not often. Well, come on. Look, it's half an hour away. Your friend isn't due till four in the afternoon. Now, you tell me, what are we going to do stuck in a German ditch for 18 hours? I want to get the smell of the place, all right? Oh, I've forgotten about your nose. Listen, I want to check up on that fire. I want to 
to find out about every blade of grass, every tree, every inch of ground, right? I want to know all about the patrols, everything. Yes, all right, all right. Let's let's just have one more. Just, just one little one more before we... Yes? Uh, yeah. Peter? Yep. Well, if the fire's right, there should be a patrol in two minutes. It's been right all night. So far. What's that? What? Over there. No. Square looking. The bunker. And here they come. Dead on time. Right, we'll wait for one more. Now I'll go. Still don't get the hurry. He's not due till four this afternoon. That's all right. Sir. Listen, mate, if you want to go across the bloody minefield, all right. I mean, I'm not particular. If I can get across the minefield, and if this chart is right, and I can get across there by midday, it'll be all right. All I've got to do is sit there and wait for Hunter. Well, uh, I'll get on with the knitting. Yeah, that's right. Yes? Oh, no, sir. No, nothing. We just couldn't get through. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. As soon as I hear, sir. Right, I'm off. Have you, uh, I've got enough markers. Yeah, I've got some more in my pocket. Very droll. Listen, if you see anything, mate, you whistle, right? Right. Oh, by the way, good luck. Yeah.
wasn't on the file, was it? A nice little surprise for us. Yeah. Well, I hope there aren't any more. What could I do with a fag? I thought you didn't. It's funny, I don't. I, uh... I thought I saw something just now. Where? The bunker. It's... It, it's probably just a shadow. No, there's nothing. Um, sorry, old boy. I, I must be getting jumpy. Yeah, well, just you stay jumpy. Will you make it safer that way? You all right? Yeah. So is this chart. Didn't think it was just now. So I wanted to make sure you were awake. There's anything about this happening. Look, quick, the bunker. It's bloody Ramsey. Look, I want you to get through to Munich clearance. Find out all you can about this hunter business, will you? Life of me, why the fellow had to leave early. This, uh, means they were on to him, which seems unlikely. Yes, sir. I don't suppose they'll know anything. And even if they do, they won't want to tell you. They love mystery. But, uh, do the best you can. Yes, sir, I will. Uh, nothing from his girl today, I suppose. No, sir. Nothing. Either he's come out early, or we've got the wrong information. He's come out early, all right. Now they, they rumbled him or something. Must have only gone away. Had an idea which direction he was going. Get back there. I'm back across that lot, the better. Right, I'll get the rifle.
Well? There's some kind of search going on along the frontier. I see. Is it localised, do you know? Yes, sir. Ten miles either side of where Callan and Mears are. Anything else I can do, sir? Makes it worse having met them. Poor devils. <laughs> Probably the landlady. I told her I was leaving the new spread. It comes to being honest. Do the least thing out of the ordinary, they get curious. In my case, they were justified. Yeah, we haven't got time to talk about it now. There's a patrol due in ten minutes. And then when they've gone, we scarp. Across the mine field. Yes, sir. Like old times. What's all this sir business? Sir? If anything, it should be the other way around. Yeah, well, you're in charge now, sir. Maybe, but not toward the other side. Then we'll see. Yeah, okay, John. Is that you this morning, blowing yourself up? Oh, that was idiotic. I nearly blew myself a bit, so I nearly did. How long have you been here? Came out 24 hours early. I had no alternative. Just hoped they wouldn't get on to me too soon. I tried to get a word to you. That oh, wouldn't have done any good. Oh, we've been travelling for 48 hours. Was cautious. Well, you know us. Control! Well, they should. Shh! Haben Sie uh, jemanden gesehen hier? Nein, ganz niemand. Keine Bekannten? Nein, überhaupt nicht. Sind Sie sicher? Ja, ich weiß sicher. Oh, gut. Danke vielmals. Bitte. If you'd seen these strangers, that's all. Shouldn't we move? Just a minute. What's he up to? He's, he's messing about the fire beating well, stuff. It not take long, will it? Hang on a minute. Oh. Now he's doing some running repairs. Sides. So we better wait until this 
dark. Right. For three or four hours, Cullen. Is that wise? Yeah. He bought it ten days ago. Mm. Yeah, I remember we all said that at the time, sir. Damn shame. I was enjoying myself in Leipzig. Oh, yeah. I ran a sports shop, among other things. Quite amusing. Very keen, the crowd. Ah, bully for him. <laughs> Scared. Yeah, it's funny that, anyway. We all get scared sometimes. I'm talking about being scared. You could have that Leipzig bit. I mean, that's trouble, isn't it? Every day for five years. At least when I go home, I know it's home. But you know, there comes a time when you forget all about what you're really doing. You forget all about coding and spies and all that rubbish. You actually become a chap who runs a sports shop in Leipzig. You've never been involved in that side of things, have you? Yeah, no, not really, sir. So I'm going to start making friends. Girl here, there. Very strange. It's just like being at home. You, um, you don't want the neighbours to know, that sort of thing. And then you start getting invited into people's homes for dinner. Get involved in their private lives. Their thoughts. <laughs> and you know, I don't mind admitting, I used to get quite a kick out of knowing that I wasn't all that they thought I was. If you see what I mean. Yeah, oh well, yeah. That one's not bloody well leaving. Then we shall have to wait till dark, shall we? What the devil haven't we heard yet? You cleared a line through, haven't you? I have, sir, yes. Oh, good. It's only seven o'clock, sir. There's still time. Time? You should have heard by five. They may have been held up, sir. Let's hope that's all it is. Yes. Good night, Sir Michael. Good night. And give Lady Harvey a ring before you leave, will you? Tell her that I'm going to be late home. He's moving now. Okay. You know, they must be searching for something. I don't know, I suppose it could have been a coincidence. They don't prowl up and down here without any reason, Colonel. Yeah. Right, sir, are you fit? More or less. Well, that's good. Überhaupt nicht. 
Ich doch einmal da unten. Hast du was gehört? Was? Ja. Such doch mal, was da ist denn das? Wo ist das da? Siehst du? Franz, wo bist du denn? Franz! Die Scheinwerfer da drüben! In das Mittelfeld! Komm schon, Mensch! Still! Da drüben! Links! Links! Kann ich sehen. Du, die sind tot, was? Well done, Chef. Well, it's, uh, it's one of the day's works. Oh, yeah, uh, tell me is John Ramsey. How do you do? Hello. I suppose you better get used to calling me Hunter. I don't know about you, Toby. I've had it. You like to drive, sir? Oh,
Thank you.